What's up, lady gang? It's your girl, Lady Lakes, and I'm back with another video. I'm just about to give y'all a really quick tutorial of how to do these locks that I have in my hair. This is the crochet hair that I use. It's called the Nita Distressed Gorgeous Lock. I got the 20, the 26 inch, and it's by Free Choice. Um, this is what one of the locks look like, and it has like curly ends. And I love that about these locks. So I'm gonna show y'all what I do. And also, I use this hair as well to wrap the hair around the roots to make it, you know, make it look very natural looking. So first of all, I didn't. I'm not showing this in the video, but you have to start off. You have to put single plaits all over your head with just your real hair. So y'all can see this just a plait with my real hair. Or just plait your real hair up, you know, however you want to do it. And how you do the crochet, you take the lock, take the crochet needle, go up under the braid, put it on the latch. Get the hair and pull it through. Pull your hair through the little loop. And there you go. Yo, excuse that. That is some age control I put on my hair. After you pull your hair through the lock, you just take the crochet needle. You go through the lock. You just stick your needle through the lock. You stick your crochet needle through the lock until you get up to the root of your hair. Take your real hair, pull it through. And you just do that process over again. Start in the crochet hair, go up through your hair, or through the crochet hair. Grab your real hair and latch it on and pull it through. And you just do that until you get your hair completely into the lock. I still have a little piece of my real hair hanging out, so I'm gonna go back through one more time. Okay, now that you have your hair into the lock like so, now I have a piece of this curly crochet hair. And what I'm gonna do with this is very simple. Take my crochet needle again, go up under the braid. Latch on my crochet hair. So I make this uneven when I get the crochet hair. One side is shorter. And I take my longer side. And this is the side that I used to wrap the hair with. And as you can see, it's not much hair. I don't want to weigh down my hair, especially around the edges. Um, Cause it could put too much tension on hair. So you take it and you wrap it really good at the root of your hair. So now that I have a good wrap at the root, I will start to wrap on down. But as I'm wrapping down, I'm not wrapping it like super tight. I'm kind of, you know, just letting it flow on down like it's not. 
So yeah, I'm gonna wrap it on down until I run out of hair. And I'll show you all what I'm gonna do next. As I get to the end of the lock, I have like a small strand of hair left. I take this little nail, nail glue, I got this from um, the Dollar General, and I just put some right on the hair, and I wrap it on around. And you may need, you know, a little more, just depends, you know, you think it's enough. I'm gonna add a little bit more, just to dab more. And then I take the lock like this, right here where it's wrapped at, and I rub it. And that's it, that was my last one, y'all. So I'm gonna show y'all the finished look. I'm gonna do my edges, I'm gonna show y'all the finished look. So this is the finished look that I did, little so baby hairs. This is giving vacation vibes, y'all. I need to go on a vacation. They are really, really long. <laughs> but yeah, this is what my thought. Oh, let me show y'all something my part. It took me forever to part, like doing the part took longer than actually doing the lock. Thank you guys for watching this very short tutorial. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.